This is my current assortment of Estwing tools. First I'm going to roll in a little footage of some of these tools in action, mostly the longer hatchet and a little bit of uh, smashing up of bricks and cinder blocks uh, with the splitter and the pick. All right, I hope you enjoyed the destruction. All right, excuse any noise, I am just doing this outside in my backyard. Now, from left to right, these tools are uh, the carpenter's hatchet, the rig builder hatchet, uh, the fireside friend wood splitter, uh, the 48 ounce uh, engineer's hammer, and the long handled rock pick. Now, S-Wing tools are extremely durable. They are one piece, all metal construction, and then just the grips are added, and the grips are very comfortable. Um, they certainly will perform well just around the house. Uh, and also, you know, as far as a hypothetical, hypothetical use as an emergency weapon, uh, the so-called anti-zombie application, as they say here, uh, many of these implements would actually in my opinion, be more effective than some of the flashy uh, tomahawks in the same price range that are actually marketed as like military weapon type hawks. But these everyday these everyday tools would, in my opinion, would outperform uh, some of those those uh, novelty weapon hawks. Most of these cost between like thirty to forty dollars. They're all available on Amazon. I just find them very useful around the house and around the backyard. Uh, or the hatchets would be great for camping. Uh, let's take a quick look at these individually. Uh, this is their carpenter's hatchet. You can see it has a hammer hammer strike face on the other end, which is what I've been using it for the most, just around the house. And the, the length of the edge on this is uh, three and three quarters. Very strong. You can see the very strong one piece solid metal construction. Thing is a tank. You see the very comfortable grips on that. And the overall length, the overall length of this, 13 inches. And this would also make just a great, a great little camp axe too. Although they do sell a purpose built camp axe, but you know. This could be used for everything. And as far as uh, anti-zombie use, you know, 13 inches, it's very light and handy, very fast in hand. This is the rig builder's hatchet. This is what I was using in the chopping, very powerful. Now this, this will get a powerful swing. It is uh, 17 inches in overall length. Uh, the length of the edge and the, uh, the head is actually the same as the shorter one. All right, but you can see, you know, several inches more reach. And you can see there is some, you know, there is some wear and tear from its use, but it's very durable. Okay, this is some heavy metal here. Uh, this is the Fireside Friend. 
you can see it's a wood splitter right, for firewood and so forth and you can, I mean look just look at the geometry of that this thing is tough as crap you see it is a little worn and the back of it the back of it the weight of this I mean you can use the back as a demolition hammer as well this thing is heavy of all these five this is by far the heaviest and the most top heavy and this this is seriously I mean this is seriously a skull splitter unless you're extremely big to me this is a this is a two-handed weapon I mean um, otherwise it would be uh, you know it would be way too slow because it's heavy but I mean as far as the finishing blow on a zombie uh, definitely this is the 48 ounce engineers hammer and this this is very heavy as well it's a little bit it's not as heavy as the splitter and also it's not as top heavy so it would be a little bit faster right as an anti-zombie uh, bludgeon but again I, I think a lot of the use of this would be would be more of a two-handed a two-handed implement yeah I mean you know talking mini sledgehammer this impressive looking implement is the long handled rock pick All right, it's a you know it's a hammer face there and then that's for uh, you know mineral hunting geology because I know we're all geologists but just in the off chance that um, you know it, it's the same idea as a medieval war hammer which were actually uh, were actually piercing weapons and that's the business end and I did uh, take a file to the tip and make it a little more pointed than it came and as you can see I did customize it a little vengeance on the undead of course let me ask you a question what's the flip side of vengeance justice and you know what my favorite thing is when vengeance and justice end up being the same thing that's perfect all right, and you hear that that motorcycle gang in the distance? I might I might need these right now. No, I'm just kidding. That's just some yuppie, some yuppie with a, you know, an extra loud bike. Oh, he just oh man, <laughs> he just went by. He was he was a little bit overweight, but anyway, uh, vengeance. Now the length on this it's about 16 inches overall length, so slightly shorter than the longest, which is the rig builder hatchet. And it's not super heavy, so it would be very fast in hand. You know, obviously, from a weapon you know analysis perspective, this would be for delivering finishing blows, and it would be very effective.